Hello everybody, SCP Zoy here, and welcome to Crypt. Now, this game caught my eye. This is like a free game on Steam. And it caught my eye because it's, its description says that it is a psychological torture device. <laughs> Do not play this game expecting any enjoyment. But I'm not expecting any enjoyment. So, what this is, is basically, it's a psychological horror game. It's made to be creepy, and I love psychological horror. That is the best type of horror. It's actually creepy. Oh, I'm sorry for your loss. Enter the crypt. Retrieve my prize, bring it to me. So yeah, this is meant to be just a straight up psychological horror. So that's going to be interesting to see. So I'm very curious, because psychological horror games have this like twist about them. They are actually attempting to be scary. Like, normal, like jump scare horror games they're not intentionally trying to be scary half the time half the time they're just trying to be a game psychological horror games focus on the creepiness and the horror they don't just are they're not just in your face press e to pick up ah. okay what engine was this made in this looks cool it's made it unreal with like a lot of filters. You can tell there's a lot of filters on the screen right now. I like the stylization. Are you telling me hold shift to sprint? Oh, I have a very limited sprint. Oh, boy. I hate that. Okay, so I have to solve the puzzle, complete the ritual, and survive. That is a demonic symbol of some kind. Take it. gonna wait until something actually tries to chase me. Alrighty, with these aesthetics, this has a great, like, psychological horror vibe. Like, these are aesthetics that make you wonder what the hell might be behind you. Oh god. I have to solve a puzzle here. All right, where is my clue? Are they actually going to force me to guess? That'd be interesting, because normally these puzzles actually have a fucking answer key. I guess I'll just, like, spin. Uh... I don't see anything. This is interesting. Do I need to go back? Perhaps there's an answer thing if I go back. We will find out. We will investigate. I don't like that sound. The way is shut. I don't like the fact that the coffin is moving. There is a trigger point somewhere that I'm going to have to trigger that that thing will be getting out. Or is he meant to be a timer? Oh, he serves as. Wait, this is not the door I came through. What door is this? Oh no. Oh no, is this the labyrinth? That was this little fucking labyrinth. Shit, labyrinths and psychological horror go fucking amazingly. Um, because you're focusing on like trying to figure your way around the labyrinth, and then you're just like caught off guard. Oh no, is this a disjointed labyrinth? I swear to God, if it's disjointed, it's disjointed. No, it isn't. 
I'm like following a wall. I picked a wall and I'm following it. That way I can find my way back easier if I need to. This is the best way to get through any maze or labyrinth is just follow a wall. Boy, they really decided to just add base. Add base to this section of the game. Oh my god, how far is this fucking hallway? Oh, I hate, I hate pitch black and those hallways. I hate it. And just not knowing when something is just going to come charging out at you. That is the worst feeling. Like, I don't get scared easy, but that is... That fucks with your psyche. Which is great, because again, that's a psychological horror. God, I'm just gonna go on a rant about, like, psychological horror, because again, that is my favorite type. Of horror, like... FNAF is good, but psychological horror... Fucking dominates that easy. What well, makes things like, uh, Hero Brian so creepy? In the back rooms. Okay, things look slightly different, question mark? God, I've been wandering for a fucking while. I swear to god, if this loops back to, like, the beginning of the fucking maze. Which it's starting to feel like it's going to at this point. <laughs> which is a bit concerning. There's a lot here, Jesus Christ. So yeah, uh, um, psychological horror. Psychological horror has a lot to it. Like, um, Slenderman is a psychological horror entity, basically. He's not this, like, jump scare thing that everyone wants to make him out to be. In his stories, he's actually just, like, psychological and manipulative. That went all the way back to the beginning. That's the room I came from. Fuck. Oh. Hello. Oh, no, don't... No. There's two floors. Why was this actually here when I got here? I swear to God, if it was. Is this actually the room, or is it fucking with me? I will never put it past a psychological horror game to just fuck with you. Hello. No, is this another labyrinth? No, thank God. It's stairs. Okay. <laughs> this is just like descend into the darkness and pray you don't die oh are you shitting me what is this okay okay so this is like a flip the lever section oh hello Okay. Okay, I'm getting this. The labyrinth is going to be challenging later, but... Fuck, I have to find a lever that'll actually let me progress. I just need to keep track of what levers I've flipped. Oh, hello. Where does this go? Yeah, that one goes over there. Okay. Is this going to be a maze of platforms? Like a platformer, but worse. At least with a platformer, you know, you somewhat know what the fuck's happening. Okay, we're just going to go row by row. Who knows how long this one will take. Oh, hello, what is this? There's stairs. Yo, you can go down? Okay. Is there a reason to come down here? They have actually made the bridge to the end. It's a very weird puzzle. A little abstract. But just kind of a find the, uh... Find the levers puzzle. 
What if I'm activating levers I'm not supposed to activate? I could totally see that being a thing. I'm dumb enough to do that. Oh, I see a path, I see a path, I see a path. Hey, we have places we can go, places we can go. Oh, I might have solved it on accident. I might have. Possibly. No, still not. Still not quite. We did progress. Okay, so there has to be something I can flick. Some of these levers probably actually uh, do different things. Depending on what exactly you did with them. On this end, I think. That falling down actually kills me. Now, I need to fall damage. Good. Experimentation successful. I don't think I changed what I wanted it to change, actually. Never mind. What the fuck is that? Oh, hey. He collected. Oh, bit of lag there. What happened? I'm slightly intimidated. What what have I triggered? I've triggered something. Okay, so they hid the key at the bottom of this. I if you're supposed to do the puzzle. I'm probably gonna find out. Something has definitely happened out here. Oh boy, what has happened out here? Come on, don't be free, don't be free, don't be free. It's free. Fuck. So what are we dealing with? A vampire? Zombie? What are we dealing with? The way is shut still. We have triggered one thing. Still no answer key to this puzzle. No way of figuring the fuck out. More than a little intimidated by the fact that whatever the fuck was in that coffin just got out. There has to be some way across. Damn it, I yeeted. Jesus Christ. I'm not sure where the thing that I freed is. Damn, this has a nice psychological vibe. Gotta admit. Oh shit. Fuck. Lots of weird spots to fall, though. God, this is such a long fucking thing. Gotta get this, like, pattern in the correct way. It's a lot of stuff. Okay, if I know psychological horror, which I do, not gonna be much happening yet. At least not on the whole, like, jump scares thing, so I shouldn't be worrying too much right now. Psychological horror is all about suspense and just making you feel uneasy. And so far this part's like nailing the uneasy. So I'm in a crypt and something is up. Something has woken up. Okay, we're gonna find out if anything happens here. Ooh, hello. Okay. We have managed to make a straight bridge across. Didn't even know you could do that. That's nice to know. That means that there's other things we can do with these. No, 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 no. Put that back. Did I get rid of anything over here? Perhaps add anything? Oh wait, no, it goes further. There's the other side. Maybe we can make a straight thing across the other side? Because that's the case, that could actually be really good. Do we get a straight shot? 
No, we don't get a straight shot. Shit. Actually, I can see... Okay, so that can slide over to this side. That is, that is something that I can do. So I just need to figure out what controls that row. Oh, how the fuck do I link those? Okay, so I figured out. Aha! Aha! I have done it. I have linked two separate bits. I have progressed slightly in this puzzle. And maybe, just maybe, we can actually do something. First thing we'll see is how far this one goes. Okay, this one goes a decent distance. Oh, fuck. I might actually have it solved. I can see where it's supposed to end. The problem is reaching there. The answer is definitely in... Like, going across on one of these ones. Like, here. Oh, fuck yes. I have solved it. God, that was stupid. And there's our key. And it lags every time we pick up a fucking key, god. Something's changed. So be ready for something creepy to happen. Slightly concerning that it's lagging whenever we pick up a key. God, solving this puzzle took way too fucking long. <sighs> I hate that. Made a lot of keys just to open the damn door. And since I know most of the fucking. <sighs> Fuck. I see why they say this is psychological torture. I was not expecting that to be there. What the fuck was this? That was weird. God, I was not expecting that. Alright. Uh, well, I guess I'll end it here. I hope everyone has enjoyed. If you should join the ranks of the SCP Foundation, don't forget to shoot the like button, slay those comments, and contain that subscribe button. Anyway, guys, I'll see you in the next video, live stream, or whatever to do next. Peace, guys.